Those of us in the field of diabetes have long wanted to cure type 1 diabetes, and there are little steps along the way that are making me feel like this might be a possibility. So one of those steps is the fact that a company named Vertex, and I'm going to say that I am actually on the steering committee for Vertex in terms of this project, has made beta cells from stem cells. So now instead of waiting for a cadaveric donor, we can make little beta cells. And they started giving them to people in human trials. And the FDA has been really cautious about this, which is because it's new, and I get that. So in the first part of these trials, we could only give half a dose of these beta cells. And the doses were determined based on what we know from giving beta cell transplants from cadaveric donors. So we gave half a dose of these stem cell-derived beta cells to two people who were having episodes of severe hypoglycemia. In patient number one, these beta cells worked incredibly well. He became insulin independent, and now after over a year, he's basically free of his type 1 diabetes. In patient number two, she got half a dose, and she did get some activity of the beta cells, but not enough to achieve insulin independence, so she got a second dose. And shortly after getting the second dose, she decided that she didn't want to participate in the trial anymore, and she was more or less lost to follow up. So patient two didn't get the same response as patient one, but then we moved on to four more patients, and these patients got a full dose to start with. So now there's a total of six patients. And of those additional four patients, one of them has now been followed for a year. And just like patient one, he's off insulin. It's as though his body has normal beta cells and he's doing great. For the next three patients, we don't have enough follow-up data to tell you what's going to happen to them at a year. But I can tell you in all six patients, the beta cells that they were given worked. They basically were producing insulin, they had positive C-peptide levels, and it showed that these beta cells work when given to human beings. So now the trial is going to go on to start giving more patients these stem cell-derived beta cells and to see what happens. Now one of the things it's important to realize is that this is a very small sample size, just six individuals. And even within those six individuals, there is a variation in terms of the response to the treatment. And so probably, just like with all things in medicine, there'll be different doses potentially, different ways in which people do respond, people who get off of insulin completely, people who may require some ongoing insulin therapy. I have no idea what this is really going to look like as we test this in more people. But in everybody, they did start making C-peptide. They were having an effect of these beta cells, and it was working. So we'll have to see how well it works, how well it works in whom, and how we're going to be able to use these types of therapies in the future. Now, in terms of side effects, the side effects were really the side effects related to immunosuppression. And there were no real surprises, but again, this is a very small sample size. But in summary, I think this is really hopeful. And I don't like to give false hope, but each step of this development process has shown that these beta cells derived from stem cells do seem to work in human beings as native beta cells might. Hopefully, this portends a future of newer therapies in the treatment of people with type 1 diabetes. Thank you.